So there are two main approaches to uh, building systems that are capable of intelligent behavior. And those two approaches are called symbolic AI and neural networks. So AI is founded in 1956, and the two main approaches, symbolic AI and neural networks. So what does symbolic AI say? Symbolic AI says we want to build a machine that's capable, say, of translating from French to English. What we do is we go and find out how a human expert does that translation. We find the knowledge that that human expert uses and we give that knowledge to the machine. And there are specialized languages in order to be able to do that. Uh, and symbolic AI dominated roughly for around about 30 years, 1950 to around about 1980. Uh, and it had some successes, but it had an awful lot of failures. And at the same time, in the background, there's neural networks. What is the idea of neural networks? The idea of neural networks is you look at a, a brain, an animal brain under a microscope, there's huge numbers of nerve cells called neurons that are connected to one another in vast networks. And all of human intelligence somehow reduces to these nerve cells, these neurons, doing very, very simple little bits of computation. So the idea in neural networks is that what we do is we do the same thing in a computer. And it goes back to the 1940s, but at the time, nobody had any idea how to actually build neural networks. The idea really started to come into its own this century, because it turns out to build useful neural networks, neural networks that can do translation from French to English, for example, what you need is lots and lots of data and lots and lots of computer power. And what you use that data for is you use it to train the neural network. Instead of telling it how it's going to to do something, you show it through the training data what it is that you want it to use. So this is the reason that AI this century has taken off the success of neural networks. And as well as the science underpinning neural networks, to make it work, you need lots of data and lots of computer power.